I want to build a seawall, and I want to make it out of bricks that I can make and then put in place, because a lot of them will be underwater. And I want them to interlock, so this is a top view. So this little tongue goes in this groove, and then this tongue goes in the next groove. And then, you know, this is a side view. I want them to have a little lip on the back, so I can put one set of bricks, and then the next set of bricks kind of hooks into the previous one, so they don't slide off. And this is what it looks like in 3D, basically. So this is what I need to make for a mold. You know, I need a rectangle at the bottom. And yeah, I just need these four different, different shapes. The top is just flat. Yeah, the bottom's just got a groove here to let that little, little nub stick down and then yeah, make a ton and groove on each side. Okay. Oh, let's see what we can do here. I'm also gonna have to make sure the mold pieces release from the concrete very smoothly. Because you know, a lot of times when, it, when you do concrete, uh, you take the mold off and there's a bunch of concrete still stuck, but often it doesn't matter. But in this case, I need the, the object to actually be the right shape and pretty smooth and, and like nice. Huh, there's a piece of wood. Yeah, I have a bunch of pieces around here. The first thing I need to do is figure out the exact size it's gonna be. And I think I wanna make it so the, the surface that you see can be tiled, which means this piece in any ones uh, that are gonna be facing where people are, I can just lay a tile down here. So this needs to be a shape of a tile that I have. And I have to... It'll also be nice to use up some of these tiles. Tiles all over the place. Okay, I think I actually have a whole pile of these. Let me pull it up. Okay, those, that is a nice size right there. And these are nice smooth tiles. I'm kind of hoping with the slick surface, barnacles won't stick to it. Yeah, right back here. Oh, 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 Got them, I think. Oh, that looks like the same thing. Let's go measure. Yes, all right. I do have a whole bunch of those. I mean, not a ton, but enough to, you know, at least do a, a, a fairly decent sized section that's going to be really nice looking with this. And, uh, for the rest that, you know, when I don't have the tiles for, that's still just a good size. That looks like a good size to me. Okay, got 12 here, another 12 over here. And you know, there are a bunch of tiles that I could cut to fit when I run out. So anyway, 24 is pretty good, pretty good start. Okay, you got one? Yeah. This one's clean and whole, no chips or anything? No. All right, that's gonna be the bottom of the mold. Well, it'll be, it'll be the front face of the brick, but the way we're going to do the mold is going to lay down Bricks like that. Bricks are this big? Bricks are that big. You may not be able to pick them up because they're going to be like... Not sure how thick? Let's figure it out. You know what? I've got some leftover pieces of wood from when I did the floor upstairs. I think that will be a, that'll be a good size for the, the tongue and groove going across. Okay, I need to find some kind of like two by four-ish, you know, it's too wide. Okay, this, this right here, it's a pretty garbage piece of wood. I can use it. Okay, yeah, that looks about perfect. I'll bevel these in. All right, I need to cut a piece of this for each side. What's gonna be the easiest way to do it so it'll be easy to get on and off. Okay, if I leave the long side here longer and the long side up there longer, and then these sides exactly the length, then I can put those there, and then I put the long ones, and then I just have to put one clamp here, like a big clamp, and a big clamp there. Yes, okay. Okay, hold on, before I go start making some cuts, I'm planning to make these ones shorter. Okay, that, that'll work out because then these will be longer and they'll butt up against here, which will be much easier than having this butt up against this crooked thing. Yeah. Um, yeah, so let's butt up against there. Yeah, everything will work. 
wait, this groove here. Um, yeah, I just need to make an end to it. Right? Yeah. Okay, no problem. And then the flat part up here, that's just clamps right up. Tree wood. Uh, that's not that good. Yeah, it's not great wood, so I'm using it for this. Kind of okay wood. Some of the pieces were better than others. Jamie, what is this kind of wood? This is this is the type of wood for my cabinet that, you, that my cabinet's built on. Yeah, that is actually from the cabinet. Thought about using that, but that's a lot nicer piece of wood. <laughs> Okay, one of these gets this in the middle, but I want to take some off the ends to kind of, you know, angle it so it's not 90 degrees. I can just do that with a hand planer. Let's just... Now, I didn't purposely make these boards uneven, but I found it to be very helpful when hand planing things. Size a little harder because it's already at an angle now. Yeah, that's pretty good. Well, this is kind of rough up here. I want to make sure all sides are nice and smooth. Oh, it's so much faster than sanding. these off again. Let's we'll just do a little bit of final sanding. Oh, do I want to make more than one of these at a time? I'm probably going to want more than one mold. All right. Yeah, let's check the junk screw pile. Two side pieces. I can get the real pieces to fit anything remotely like that. That'll be excellent. All right, the bottom piece of the mold just needs a chunk out of there. Doesn't need a huge lip. That uh, should be plenty. <clears throat> Do I want to angle it at all? So it's not. I guess straight down is fine. 
How much do I want to take off? Enough that it's not just going to snap off. Let's try that. Yeah, not bad. Okay, supposedly if I assemble all this junk correctly, um, okay, that'll be the bottom down there. The tops up here. It's the sanded side. And then I just have to pick one of the sides for that and the other side for that and make sure I always keep that the same. <laughs> well, that's it. Uh, I guess there is the one thing that I mentioned earlier. Little that little spaces here. You know, crap's gonna get out, so I should. You know, now that I think about it, if I put the piece here, attach it to this one, it'll make sure I'm always putting the pieces in the right places. <laughs> okay, that is looking good. Now, if I try to put this one over here, it doesn't fit doesn't fit. Oh yeah, I have to put these on this side. Right, okay. Yeah. Good stuff. Okay, now I need to coat these with something that will release concrete easily. Maybe I should paint them. Paint them with some plasticky paint first. Seal them and then wax them. Do I even have wax? I could oil them. You know what, I'm gonna look on the internet, see what it tells me. Yeah, the internet says oil's fine. It's just messy, but I don't care about that. So I got this oil, which is very thick, and I even have a paintbrush for putting it on rusty tools and stuff, and now on dirty molds. Ew, that's nice. What's nice is messy oil. No, I think that, I said that's nice. I meant said that will be nice. <laughs> Wait, what's nice? This will be nice. Oh, the mold. Film. Yeah, the molds came out great, didn't they? I think it's going to be really good. I'm pretty excited to see the seawall with these nice tiles on the, on the outside. I think it's going to be really awesome. I'm going to have to make some without tiles Wait, I want, at wait. the bottom. Well, I was saying, um, the, I meant to say the, the wood. Oh, the wood is nice. Yeah, it looks nice too. But I need to make some for the bottom of the seawall that don't have tiles, because the tiles are going to be wasted at the bottom, because I'm going to have to dig them into the ground a bunch to make sure it's a good foundation. So I shouldn't use the tiles till I'm like one level up. Guess I'm ready to go. Nice. These two will have tiles in them, but I want to make some without tiles to put on. Kate, can you come inspect my cool molds? Yeah. Okay, come check them out. Ah, 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 isn't that great? So how'd it do? Good, they're cool. Did, did you even look at the details? Look at the details in there. Those are some really cool molds. Hmm. Next project may be a cement scoop. Okay, I've got like roughly five parts sand and rocks, one part cement ish. Yeah, that's about five to one. Maybe six to one. And a bunch of roots. I 
bring water over? That yellow thing? Okay. Saw stick. Saw stick. I'm talking with you. Udi aya yodi kumbaya. Oh, I have to remember to stand up between every dump, or else after a while of doing this, get all stiff. I take the big, huge rocks out just so it's easier to mix a smaller amount because I can just stuff these in after. I need a stick. We need a stick. This stick. Oh, that's a board. Okay, this is the way you board. Alright, All right, let's put on some of them. Alright, I should be able to get two sets done per day, maybe three, if I, if I get up in the morning, do one. Okay, it's tomorrow morning. Let's see where these guys came out. <laughs> All right, that one comes out. This one should come out. Kind of easy, yeah. These ones are going to be the tricky ones. Uh, I'm kind of thinking I might need to put a sheet of plastic in there. Even if this comes out alright, I think I might just do that anyway. That came out great. Alright, in the interest of video, I guess I should stand one of these up. If I stand it up on its top, I should be able to do it without damaging anything. <sighs> that is good. That is really good. A little bit of voids here. That totally doesn't matter for this purpose. There's the lip. So this will be at the bottom. It'll hook on to, well, it'll like go behind the previous brick. The tongue and groove is looking great. Yeah. Excellent work. All right, I need to quit screwing around with these and let them harden. Okay, I can make 24 like that, and then, well, that's going to take a while, so I'll just do that and then see where I am. Although, for every one that has a tile face, I'm going to want at least one that just has concrete face. <laughs> you think it's funny that I'm talking about tile faces? <laughs> <laughs> 